Grade 3, Module 3, Basketball Review. Let's put your knowledge to the test. Let's get ready to rock the test. Directions. Number 1, challenge yourself or compete against other players or groups. Number 2, strictly no opening of notes. 3, read each question, then advance to the pause and play screen. 4, Pause at the pause and play screen while you work out your answer. Five, everyone reveal your answers before you go to the next screen. But first, a quote from Magic Johnson. Ask not what your teammates can do for you. Ask what you can do for your teammates. Let's go, start now. Question one, true or false? 10 times 10 minus 10 equals 90. Pause here and then press play when you have your answer ready. The answer is true. 10 times 10 equals 100. And then you take 10 away from 100 and you get 90. Way to go. Next question. Question two, multiple choice. M equals 12 plus five plus two. In this addition sentence, M is the A factor, B product, C unknown, D number bond. Pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. Answer, M equals 12 plus five plus two. In this addition sentence, M is the C, unknown. A letter stands in place of the unknown, a number which needs to be solved. Nice, fire up the next question. But first, a quote from Michael Jordan. Some people want it to happen. Some people wish it would happen. Others make it happen. Question three. Bo eats two boxes of 10 treats. Sig eats one box of 10 treats. Write an equation to solve for how many treats they eat all together. Pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. Answer. T equals three times 10. T is the number of treats they eat all together. T equals 30. Bo and Sig eat 30 treats all together. Question four is a vocabulary question. An equation shows that two expressions are blank. Pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. Answer. 
answer. Equal. An equation shows that two expressions are equal. Remember that an equation always has an equal sign. High five. Next question. Question five. Compare the crossed out prices to the new sale prices. If all sale prices are calculated in the same way, what would the sale price be on an item that originally cost $10? A, $20, B, $5. Pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. Answer, B, $5 because the sale price is half of the original price. Notice that half of six is three, half of two is one, half of two, half of eight is four, and half of 10 is five. Let's go, start now. But first, a quote from Wilt Chamberlain. I believe that good things come to those who work. Question six is a true or false question. A clerk in the grocery store arranges the boxes of canned peas as shown below. Each box contains six cans of peas. There are 48 cans of peas in all. True or false? Pause here and press play when you are ready. True. There are eight boxes with six cans in each box because eight times six equals 48. Keep going. Next question. Question number seven is multiple choice. Which expression matches the picture? A. 3 times 2 times 2, B, 4 times 4 times 3. Pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. Answer, A, three times two times two. There are three groups with two rows of two in each group. Whoosh, bring on the next question. Question eight is a vocabulary question. In this equation, the letter T represents the blank. Eight times four equals T. Pause here and press play when you have your answers ready. Answer, the letter T represents the unknown product of eight times four.
You've got this. Next question. Question nine is a multiple choice question. The team goes out for breakfast before the game. Five players each order a juice and a muffin. Which equation shows the total amount they spend? Juice is $3. A muffin is $4. Is the answer A, 3 times 4 equals 12? B, 5 times 4 times 3 equals 60? C, 5 times 7 equals 35? Or D, 3 times 3 times 4 equals 36. Press pause and then press play when you have your answers ready. The answer is C. Each player spends $7 because 3 plus 4 equals 7. The five players spend $35 because 5 times 7 equals 35. Ready for the last question? Ready, set, go. Question 10. 7 times n equals 70. So n equals 7. True or false? Press pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. The answer is false. To get a product of 70, you multiply 7 times 10, so n would equal 10. You did it! Next, total your points if there's a tie, let's play the tiebreaker. Go into overtime. Here's your tiebreaker question. Write a sentence that explains why the equation below is correct or not correct. 8 times 10 equals 4 times 2 times 10. Pause here and then press play when you have your answers ready. Answer. The equation is correct because both sides are equal to 80. Good work. For more help, you can go to www dot tinabrigham dot com slash math